All right, I'm just gonna hop right into the video. Carmelo Anthony is headed to the Portland Trailblazers. I know I'm a few days late. I'm sorry, but this is extremely big news, honestly. And I'm not sure if it's for the NBA, for Portland, or for Carmelo Anthony and himself. Carmelo Anthony has been out of the league for a year now after just getting cut after just only 10 games with the Houston Rockets last year. And it's not because he's not a good player anymore. He's just not the same Carmelo Anthony that we're accustomed to back in his days in Denver and New York. And the reason this shocks me, especially that he went to Portland, is because after two years of Damian Lillard trying to recruit Carmelo Anthony to Portland, he finally decides to go when he's in a desperate situation. And look, Carmelo Anthony is one of the best players that we've ever seen in this game, but we all know his productivity has gone down insanely much in the last five, six years. And like I said, he's just not the same player that we're used to seeing. And especially defensively. In the playoffs, you saw it when he was with Oklahoma City. Every single time, he was the wink link on the floor and Quinn Snyder would attack him defensively because it's clearly evident that he's not the same player. And even with Houston, if you just look at the statistics, Carmelo Anthony can still be a decent offensive player. I think at best right now, he's just a bench player in the NBA, but that's We'll see what he wants to do, though, honestly. But right now, you saw in Houston, they're terrible with him defensively on the floor. They were just a terrible team defensively with him on the floor, plus minus, efficiency, points per game. Everything showed you Carmelo Anthony's on the floor. They are a terrible defensive team. You take them off, they greatly increase. Now, the Houston Rockets are already not a great defensive team. They don't play defense very well, but especially when you added Carmelo on the floor last year, and like I said, for only 10 short games, they just weren't very good. Now, like I said, Damian Lillard had tried to recruit Carmelo Anthony to Portland two times, but look, the big thing is the fact that Carmelo Anthony really does deserve a last chance in the NBA to kind of prove that he can go out the right way and go out the way that he deserves because he's one of the best players that we've ever seen. But at the same time, Carmelo's going to have to make some sacrifices. And I don't mean just with Portland, but with any team he could have gone to. Portland right now is in a slump to start off the year. Nobody really expected that, but I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself. We're still just in November. We have all the way to April. I expect Portland to still be a great team, but... When you're not getting production out of your players, like Terry Stotts was hoping for, outside of Damian Lillard, because CJ McCollum is only averaging 21 points per game, that is not the type of production that we're used to seeing from him. We're used to seeing him playing at an all-star level, and that's not getting it done in the Western Conference especially. And that's why they're sitting outside of the playoff race at the moment, and that's why they low-key hit the panic button and went out and signed Carmelo Anthony on that deal. Now, I'm just indifferent because I don't know if Carmelo fits that team. I know that they're kind of panicking and that they want to get something going, maybe a change, but I don't know if Carmelo's the answer to that. He's supposed to make his debut this Tuesday with the Pelicans, but in my heart, I want Carmelo Anthony to be a good guy. I want him to have another chance in the NBA, and I want him to have that great opportunity with Portland, but in my head, I'm saying, no, it's not going to work. Like, I want in my heart for him to do good, but I just don't see it happening especially in Portland, when you have two high efficiency players in Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, who CJ will break out of his slump eventually. And Damian Lillard is still one of the best point guards in the league. Where does Carmelo fit into this equation? Is he going to be coming off the bench? How are they going to ease him in? Like, I just don't see how this helps the Portland Trailblazers at all. Of course, I want them to do good. I want Carmelo to succeed, but I just don't see how this fits at all. But let me know what you guys think. This came as shocking news to me just because it was Portland. I could have seen him with just about any other team. The Trailblazers would have been last on the list of places that I would have thought he would have signed. What do you guys think of the move? What do you guys think about Melo actually returning to the NBA as a whole? Do you think it's good or bad for him? But please, if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe down below, and always comment down. I'll always be responding. Thank you guys so much.